And now we go to China, more specifically to the world capital of Pandas, the city of Chengdu. There, the provincial government of Xi'an organized the first Golden Panda Awards for international film and television productions. The ceremony was attended by the famous actor Jackie Chan and had Latin American as the winner of the Best Actor Award. Our TV collaborator in China, Maru Ramas, attended this event. Let's see. The new Chinese International Movie and Series Award Golden Panda called for productions from countries in various regions. Vietnam, Iran, Argentina, Russia, Czech Republic, Thailand and Colombia were some of the countries with nominated productions in addition to countries that usually dominate renowned international awards such as the USA, France, UK and Italy. According to the organizers, the new festival aims to increase cultural exchanges between countries under the concept of a community with a shared future for humanity, or a community of common destiny. The idea has Confucian and Marxist roots and has been promoted by the Chinese government for about a decade in its bilateral relations and in the various international platforms in which it participates. As the world capital of the giant panda, Chengdu seems like the ideal city to host the festival. Through the so-called panda diplomacy, initiated more than half a century ago, China sends pandas to other countries for a certain period as a symbol of friendship. South American films are close to us, such as the Brazilian Central Station, which had a great influence in China. We hope that through these film exchanges and events, we can further promote communication between filmmakers, foster more collaborative projects and inject more elements and vitality of cinema into the peaceful development of the world and the awareness of a shared future for humanity. Different countries, they have different culture, and I think for me, I really hope in the future I can play with different people in different countries, and I can learn from them, and they can learn from me, because I think a culture always needs to be exchanged, right? And we can bring a lot of different things together, and we can create the new thing. So that's why I want to meet more people like Brazil musicians, right? And probably we can learn from each other, and so we can use this way to bring a lot of new things coming and to make the whole world more peaceful and more happy. Prominent figures from the Chinese film industry were present at the award ceremony in the land of the pandas. Among them were Jackie Chan, Guan Xiaotong and Wu Jing. As part of the awards, the organizers held a forum where themes of cooperation, dialogue and mutual learning were discussed. Former senior officials from the United Nations, former Thai Prime Minister Abhisit Vejajiva and former Egyptian Foreign Minister Nabil Fahmi participated in the event. You were talking about um, uh, mutual understanding and uh, we believe from UNESCO that uh, when we share our cultures, when uh, we are able to uh, showcase actually what they bring actually to, uh, to communities, to individuals, um, this is when we actually um, develop further, when communities are able to flourish so that individuals as well uh, are able to uh, exchange and uh, share across countries. Argentine director Leandro Martinez had his work, Aru, nominated for Best Animation. He believes that the spaces like this, promoted by China outside the hegemonic circuit, can contribute in terms of dissemination and support for productions in South America. China's total box office during this summer broke a record, surpassing the equivalent of more than 20 billion yuan, with domestic productions gaining an increasingly large proportion as a result of a long trajectory of tax incentives and subsidies to the industry. 
For us to reach Hollywood, whether from Argentina, Uruguay, Brazil, or wherever it may be, it is a much longer path than the exposure you can achieve at an event like this, for example. So imagine my short film is an independent work made by myself in my own home, and suddenly I'm invited and nominated for an award without any kind of prejudice. In other words, I didn't have to go through any political process, have connections in the industry, or be invited first to other smaller festivals. No, it's as if, simply because they liked her or found that has something to say, I have the opportunity to be here. Another Latin American present at the Golden Panda Award ceremony was Argentine actor Nahuel Perez Vizcayart, who ended up winning the award for Best Actor of the Festival for the film Persian Lessons, a co-production between Russia, Germany and Belarus. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. I know that the award from this event points a little to that, to the expansion of borders. Mine is a very particular case, but it really coincides very well with today's logic, which is that I am Argentine and worked on a Russian-German film, playing a Belgian who speaks French and German, and now we are here with the Chinese award. I think it is the most beautiful thing about cinema and art in general, when political borders are erased a little, and for at least a moment it seems that we understand each other and can create a common language.